Okay, so the first question says, what is the area of a circle with a radius of three centimeters? And you use 3.14 for pi. So the first thing you would have to do here is like identify the equation for area of a circle. Um, we worked with this yesterday, so you may have remembered that, remembered it, and that's great. Um, it is also on the EOC reference sheet right here, which you have in your folder. Um, you go to circle, and then it has C for circumference, which we'll talk about that today, and then A for area, and that's your equation right there. So the first thing that you would do is just write down the equation. So A equals pi r squared. I'm going to zoom in because I know that's hard to see from the back. Sorry, it's focusing. Okay. So that's the equation. It says to use 3.14 for pi. So we're going to say a equals 3.14. And then the radius is 3, so it'd be 3 squared like that. Okay, and then from there, you need to follow order of operation. So 3 squared, 3 times 3 would be 9. So I bring that down. And then the last step is to just multiply these two numbers. So in a calculator, I would just do 3.14 times 9. I'm going to use those. That would just be 3.14 times 9, and it comes out to 28.26. So the area of this circle is 28.26. Since its area, it is centimeters squared. Okay, um, the next one goes along with what you worked on on Friday. A lot of you got full credit on homework, but I know sometimes you need a little bit more practice just to get it good, like solid in your brain. Um, it says coordinate one has a weight of four and coordinate four has a weight of two. What is the weighted average? Okay, I'm gonna start by just kind of going over the concept for this. If we have like a number line here, it says coordinate one has a weight of four. So it has like four weights on it. Just visually, three, four. And then coordinate four has a weight of two. So I'm gonna just kind of go along my number line. Coordinate four has a weight of two. So it has like two weights on it. And it wants to know where like the balance point is. So where would you put like the balance point if this was a scale? And to me, it would fall kind of like right here because this is weighted heavier and it would balance probably around two as visually where I could see it. So if you don't remember the equation, you could visually kind of draw it out and come to a really close conclusion. Um, the equation for this looks like this, and it's not on the reference sheet. So coordinate one has a weight of four, so we're gonna do one times a weight of four, plus coordinate four has a weight of two, so four times two weights, over the total weights. So there are six weights total. <laughs> and so we're going to solve this using order of operations. So in parentheses, I need to solve that first. One times four is four. Four times two is eight over six. I get 12 over six, which equals two. So the weighted average, the balance point is two, which is exactly where I drew it visually. I said it was gonna land about two. Now it could have been a decimal or something, so it's important, it is important to solve it out, um, but it just so happens it comes out to a whole number. Okay, the next one is a bit of a challenge. It's definitely a level like three or four um, on the EOC. Um, it does come up quite often, so I wanted to introduce it. Um, it says the center of a circle is at 6.2, a point on the circle is at 10.6. What is the area of the circle? So it's requiring you to do a couple different skills that we've learned. Um, first one would be graph the points. So I drew a coordinate plane on just my scratch paper. I'm going to graph the center of the circle, which is at 6.2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. That's the center. And a point on the circle is at 10, 6. So I'm going to graph that as well. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
Okay, so it says this is the center. This is on the outside, so imagine like a circle. Obviously, mine's not perfect, but it actually doesn't have to be drawn perfect. Do the circle, center, and point on the circle. Um, for area of a circle, area equals pi r squared, right? We just went over that. Um, so for the area of a circle, I need the length of the radius. Well, that would be the distance from the center to that outside. So it would be the distance of this between those two points or the length of this line. You could use distance formula if that's more comfortable to you, or you could use Pythagorean theorem to um, find the length of this, this line. So I just sketched out a right triangle. So this is four units, this is four units, and then I'll use Pythagorean theorem to find this hypotenuse here. So Pythagorean theorem would be four squared plus four squared equals c squared, this being c. Get 32 equals c squared, square root of both sides, and c equals square root of 32, which is also using the calculator 5.66. So the radius of this circle is square root of 32 or 5.66. I put or, you'll see why in a second. So now that we have our radius, we can plug it into the equation for area. In the problem, it said use 3.14 for pi. So our area equation, I'm gonna write it out 3.14. And then the radius, we're actually going to use that square root of 32, and I'll show you why. So we set this up here. Um, square root of 32 squared is just going to be 32. So it allows me to just kind of do that part in my head, and it's more accurate answer because there's no rounding of decimals. So square root of 32 squared is just 32. And then the last step is to multiply these two numbers, 3.14 times 32. 100.48. Eight units squared. And that's the area of the circle. But like I said, a little bit higher level because you're putting together a lot of skills, but you actually know all the skills um, to do it. Okay, so now we leave this out. I'm going to come around, but as I do that, take out your note packet. We're going to go into the next lesson. Let's see, I'm going to pause this.